The MCH-100A battery-powered heat gun kit is a powerful hot air hand tool capable of producing air temperatures greater than 1000 degrees Fahrenheit for more than 30 minutes of continuous use on a single two-hour charge. Designed to repair mission-critical avionics on the flight deck of aircraft carriers and adapted to the demands of field deployment, the MCH-100A is portable, robust, and the only tool in its class approved for use on field aircraft by NAVAIR. To ensure your MCH-100A is mission ready, follow these quick and simple battery maintenance procedures. First, locate the last date charge label affixed to the right of the battery terminal and state of charge battery displays. Check the date recorded on the last date charge label. If today's date is less than three months from the last date charged, then fully charge the batteries. To charge the batteries, first install the adapter plate onto the charger. Then, place the batteries onto the adapter plate and turn on the charger. When fully charged, the charger indicator lights will flash green. After the first charge cycle is complete, turn the charger off and then on again to perform a second charge cycle. After the second charge cycle is complete, turn off the charger and remove the batteries. Then, remove the previously recorded date and record today's date on the last date charge label. If during the initial last date charge check, the date recorded is greater than three months from today's date, then fully discharge the batteries before charging. To discharge the batteries, install a self-discharge cap onto each battery. The two LEDs on each self-discharge cap will illuminate green and remain lit until the discharge is complete. When battery discharge is complete, Place the batteries on the charger and charge the batteries through two charge cycles. Then, remove the previously recorded date and record today's date on the last date charged label. Lastly, before immediate use, store the batteries as matched pairs in a cool dry area until the batteries have cooled to room temperature. Once cooled, the batteries are ready for use in the MCH-100A.